In this video, we will continue with the trapezium rule. You will find this on page 538 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The diagram shows the curve Y is equal to square root 1 plus X to the power of 3. The region A is bounded by the curve and the lines X equals 0, X equals 2 and Y equals 0. Region B is bounded by the curve and the lines X equals 0 and Y is equal to 3. So it's that part. Now use the trapezium rule with two intervals, very important, uh, with two intervals to find an approximate to the area of region A. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Okay, so let's start. The value, this, remember this is the value of A, this is the value of B. Okay, and then N is the amount of intervals, 2. And then I work out H and I get 1. Okay, now i just going to, so remember, this is my multiples that I go in. So it's 0, 1, 2. Now, if I substitute 1, so this is actually very easy. So 1, so it's 1 plus, um, uh, okay, let's just quickly see. Oh, first I substitute 0, and the square root of 1 is 1. And then I substitute 1, and then I get square root 2, and then I substitute 2. Uh, so two three, it's 8 plus 1, it's 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, and then I basically just substitute it in that area to get the approximation. Remember the middle one, or the middle ones, but in this case it's only one. I times with two, and I get my answer. Now, they say deduce an approximation of the area of B. That's first what you will do. And explain why this approximator is an underestimate of the true region of B. Okay, now remember, there you have your rectangle. Do you see? So the area of a rectangle is just that 2 times 3. And I subtract this one and I get this. But now if I look at area A, I will see that this was a... Can you remember? I'll just show you. I think it was on the previous page. Let me just show you. This was a concave. And a concave is an overestimate. So if you look, this A was overestimated, so it's cutting into B. And that is why you're going to say, from the diagram, it can be seen that area A is an overestimate. Do you see? So that will make area B an underestimate of the area. So then this one will be, be stolen, almost, can you say, from the over part of A. Okay. And that's how you do it. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 22. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. So the diagram shows the curve with equation. Always good to first write the equation down. Actually quite challenging one due to the root and then 1 plus 3 cos squared and then a half x. Okay. And then they just tell you it's going from pi to zero. That's what they said there. Then the region R is bounded by the curve and the lines. Yes, we see that. Now use the trapezium rule with two intervals to find the approximation of the area of R. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Okay. So let's start with the basics. We say what is the value of A? The value of A is zero. What is the value of B? The end point is pi. How many intervals must there be? Um, they said there, two. Okay. And then, um, to find H, it's um, always, can you recall, it's B minus A divide N. So, it's going to be pi minus zero divide two, and that's just going to be pi over two. Okay. That also gives you the multiples of the table. So if I go now to my table, first going to make the table is quite a calculation, so I think I will do it under in this case. Um, because of the form uh, equation, that's a bit more complicated. Okay. So then I'm going to make this x and this y. And okay, remember, this is y0 y1, y2. 
Okay, I start with zero, always there. Then I go in this interval. So this is going to be pi over two, and then it's just going to be pi. And now I work out this. Now, first write down your formula. Okay, so I have it. I can actually just substitute. Just concentrate. So it's one plus three cos square, and I put a zero. So I'm going to do it a little bit longer so that we don't make mistakes. One plus three, and then cos squared, but a half times, so it's just zero. Now remember, this is actually meaning. Can I just show you here? It's one plus three, and it's cos zero times cos zero. So that square just means whatever is in that bracket must be repeated. Okay, so it's one plus three. Now, if you think of the graph of cos zero, think, you can just think of the graph. How is cos zero? Cos is starting there. Mm, my pen, my pen, my pen. Okay, I'm just going to, because we might be going to need more than just the zero. So this is pi, and this is 2 pi, and this is zero. Okay, so cos zero, what is cos zero? It's one, and there is negative one. So it's 1, and then because it's repeated, I repeat whatever cos 0 is. And that will be 1 plus 3, which is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that is going to be 2. Okay. The next one, let's just do the next one. Um, I think what I'm going to do, yes, I'm every time, and I think I'm just going to create space for me. Because that you can do, otherwise it becomes too long at the bottom. Okay, now I substitute pi over 2. So then it's going to be y equals, okay, let's just move it a little bit down. Mm, okay, where is it now? Okay, so it's 1 plus 3, and then cos squared, and then a half, and then times pi over 2. And then it's 1 plus 3 cos squared, and it's pi over 4. Okay, now remember, now I'm going to go again with my special triangles. And let's just go a little bit. My special triangles, I just want to get another color. I can even go for green. This is my special, this is the 45. This is the isosceles triangle. So it's 1, 1, oh, square root, let's just keep a pin, 2, and this is pi over 4, and this is actually also pi over 4. But if I say cos, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. But don't forget what I said, you re repeat this one two times. So basically, it's 1 plus the 3 is only once. But cos pi over 4, cos is 1 over square root 2. And then you repeat it, uh, 1 over square root 2. Okay. And that is going to be 1, okay, where is my square root now? 1 plus, now square root 2 times square root, put it over 1. Square root 2 times square root is 2, so it's 3 over 2. Okay. And then if you want to just make it 1, Okay, multiply 2, multiply 2, so it's going to be 2 plus 3, so it's going to be 5 over 2. I think you can leave it like that. It's very simplified, and we can, we can simplify it at the end. Okay, and again I'm going to make space, and I'm going to do the last one. Substitution was a bit challenging here. Okay, I move down, and I just see the formula, so focus on your formula when you substitute. So it's y equals... And then it's 1 plus 3 cos square, and it was a half pi. And then it's only going to be, okay, 1 plus 3. Now, lot, what is a half pi? Okay, this pi, so pi over 2 is there, and, and what is that? That's 0. So it's basically just saying 0, and I multiply cos a half pi, cos a half pi. It's 2 times 0, but it's 0. So it's just going to be 1. Okay, now I completed all my tables. I can just clean this. It was just to help me to complete the table. And now I can say, okay, what color? White. So the area, in approximation, so you can do it like this. 
And I'm just going to write first the formula down. It's h over 2, and then it's going to be y0 plus the middle one twice, and there's only one, plus the y2, and, and that's going to be that. So h is pi over 2 over 2. Keep it in mind. So what is y0 in this case? So it's just going to be 2 plus 2 square root 5 over 2 plus 1. And that is going to be, so that's going to be pi over 2. It's over 1, so multiply 1 over 2. So it's actually pi over 4. Okay, and if you really wanted 3 plus, but now I think take a calculator and start pressing everything on the calculator. So I think I will start um, with the bracket first. So I will say 3 plus 2 multiply square root bracket 5 divide 2 close the bracket equals, okay, because I didn't put a bracket. So multiply shift pi divide 4 equals. You can press it anyway. As I said, you know your calculator and just press it nice. And then correct to three significant figures. It's 4,84 units squared. I really think the trapezium rule is score marks. If you just know the basic principles, you know how to calculate it, it's really, really further integration, further differentiation is quite challenging, um, especially if they bring the trigonometry and everything in. But like the trapezium rule, I think it's not so difficult. So make sure you know the basics.